everyone, it's Koneko here, and today's video is going to be what I got from Spirit Halloween. So, I've never been to a Spirit Halloween store before. It's a Halloween store, and one finally came to my city, and I was so excited. I thought I would go and check it out. As soon as I entered the store, I was a little bit overwhelmed. There was some like spooky motion censored stuff. Um, I just kind of like laughed. Like I thought it was like cute and <laughs> not really creepy. Um, but I tend to not really like scary stuff or gore stuff. I, I like kind of like the spooky cute stuff. So I immediately went to the Nightmare Before Christmas section that they had and they had it kind of in the center beside Hocus Pocus and I love those two movies so much and everything was like I wanted to buy everything but of course I didn't. I mainly went in there to look for props and pieces that I could use for cosplay um, not just like Halloween type stuff since I am a cosplayer I was like I need to go in with sort of a mission and grab some things that I can utilize for my cosplay. Different costumes I already have, ideas that I want to do for the Halloween season and even photo shoots in the future. So I went two different times, once with my grandparents and once with my husband and so this little haul will be everything that I got from those two times. I, we did have to go back because I forgot to grab one or two things, so technically I went three times. Um, and then I kind of had to stop there because, well, it's not the cheapest store ever. Um, I'm interested to go back closer to when they close because they're only here for like two and a bit months around the Halloween season. They're not here all year round, unfortunately, but you know, that probably saves my my bank account because like I said I, I wanted to get everything so let's just jump right into the things that I got. I'm gonna start with some non-wearable items and then eventually get into the wearable items and do a little like try on show for you. One item that caught my attention on the way out the first time I went was this cute little syringe pen. It is filled with uh, reddish liquid uh, basically just looks like colored water the top part here you click it for the pen to come out and then there's a side button to uh, put the pen back in there and I thought it was super cute and I knew that I wanted to do some like nurse toga outfits and any other spooky nurse type costumes this would come in handy and you know it's small enough to kind of fit in a bag and <laughs> dang and use it for a little photo prop two other items that caught my eye on the way out when I was with my husband were these two notebooks. This first one is this beautiful purple velvet notebook and it says witchy thoughts on it and there's a little broom symbol here and you open it up and it has little weather icons, the days of the week, memo number, and the date, and it's a bunch of lined paper, and there's also an attached little silk bookmark. The next and final notebook is this very sparkly, I don't know if the sun will catch it or not, um, black sparkly spell book. <laughs> it also has a little attached um, bookmark and this one is just more cardboardy, it's not a fabric or anything like the other one and you open it up and it's got the similar type lined paper.
So I ended up picking up one Nightmare Before Christmas item and it is this super adorable Jack Skellington mug. I've used this once or twice already. It is a pretty decent sized mug and I absolutely love it. It is so cute. Uh, got a black handle here. It says Disney Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas on the back. It's indented on the eyes. It does make it quite difficult to clean in there with all the grooves, but oh well. <laughs> It is microwavable and dishwasher safe, wash before use, made in China. They did have Sally, but I thought she looked a little bit funky. <laughs> and I really love black and white and yeah. So I do have a couple other small items, but they're all wearable. So I'm going to go to props next and then get back to the small items that are wearable and then the other wearable items. So the first thing is this super simple pitchfork. I thought that a pitchfork would be good for any sort of devil demon outfit that I wanted to do, but also I have a Love Live Little Devil Knows Me cosplay and I know this isn't perfect, these should be, uh, the sides should be down a bit more and it should be chubbier and whatnot, but I do have this rose that I am going to attempt to attach to it and see if I have like a string of beads or something that I can wrap around the stick part. I might even chop the end off a little bit to make it a little bit shorter add something to the end there after looking at some reference pictures but I thought this would be you know a staple Halloween item to grab and it, this was super cheap so next up is this hammer so this hammer was actually labeled as a clown hammer but I am going to be using it mostly for Harley Quinn. Um, I might use it for a few other outfits or cosplays depending. Maybe in the future I'll end up spray painting this like a different color to either match a different Harley outfit or another cosplay. But right now I think it fits Harley pretty well with the black and red. Thou shall not pass. <laughs> Next up is this super sturdy, heavy, cool wizard wand, uh, or staff, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> it has a plastic crystal ball up here that has a bunch of black sparkly-ish glitter, liquidy glitter in there. Um, and it just looks really cool when it's swirling around and the detail looks awesome like wood and vines kind of wrapped around here and I thought I could use this for some wizard type costumes. Yeah, but it's quite heavy. <laughs> So this next prop is kind of wearable as it goes around <laughs> here and I grabbed this mainly for the memes. If you've been, you know, keeping up with the cosplay memes, Mario memes, then you might know what this is for. So I got this to use for a chomp at cause test that I was doing and I want to make the cosplay a little better um, and take more photos and use this again and I think it turned out really well. It's a little bit bigger around the neck than I kind of wanted it to be but like it does the trick and I like it. <laughs> Okay, a couple small wearable items. I got this mask here. 
I wanted to possibly use it as a base mask or a mask for Harley Quinn. It sits pretty well on my eyes there. I'm not going to put it on right now. Next is actually this necklace that I am wearing right here. It has a black velvet strap with a chain in the back to hook it together. And this little charm here as well. Another necklace that I grabbed was this Harley Quinn put-in necklace from Suicide Squad. And I'm going to remove this little thing, which I'll get back to this in a little bit because it is part of the haul. Next up, whoop, get back on there is this little witch hat. It has a little buckle and silk ribbon here. And it slides off really easy, easily, but I think I'm going to make a few different ribbon attachments for this hat. Um, at least two different colors with, um, I think one star and one moon for possible cosplays or cause tests of a Halloween version of Ellie and Nozomi that I found online that I really like. Um, and they have little black witch hats just with like a little different belt design. So I thought this would be cute to use for that and just like other things. And it slides on the headband so you could, you know, have it right in the middle or off to the side. I'm a wizard. I got one more hat, a very large hat. It is this wizard hat. So, you know, this hat, that staff, Gandalf maybe, maybe? Uh, I got my grandpa to put on this hat and hold the staff and I took a picture and it's just so adorable. If he had a beard, he'd definitely be Gandalf. Uh, it has a wire to keep this shape, which is pretty awesome. It is so tall. Like... So it sits on my head better without a wig because um, all my hair is just like shoved up in there, but it doesn't sit too bad. I could probably attach some clips to really help it stay. And not a hat, but another headpiece. I grabbed these foam horns. Now they did come with a strap. There was a hole that the straps went through, I swear. Now I can't even see the hole. What is this sorcery? Okay, well, these came with like an elastic band, but I decided to take the band off and I'm going to actually glue on hair clips on the flat part here so that I can clip them into my wig and clip them any which way. So if I want to wear them this way, like down or back, or up, I can really switch it up just by clipping clipping them in my wig or my hair. Two more wearable type props and then some clothing. So they are both pairs of wings and the first pair are these awesome shiny black pair of wings. They kind of have that wet look. Um, as like spandex and stuff would but I think this is just it just feels like a plastic like fake not even leather but they are awesome and I thought a black pair of wings would fit with so many different types of vampires or succubus or devils, demons, any characters that I wanted to put a little spin on it with some cute wings. Uh, I did a cosplay of Cruel Temps and from Seraph of the End and I added these for some photos and I, I know she doesn't 
like necessarily have wings but I just thought it looked really cute and they come with clear straps so you can't really notice them very well and you can use like your hair or your wig anyways to cover them up and they sit pretty nicely um, the edging isn't perfect it kind of comes apart and is a little wacky I really love these the next pair of wings I actually have in this bag because they are very sparkly. I don't want them to get ruined um, and I don't want the sparkles to go everywhere. But I am probably going to get some sparkles as I take it out of here to show you. They are these lovely green ones. So beautiful. They are definitely cut out of some sort of plastic and there is this like greenish yellow bow, no, green, greenish yellow flower, just like fabric bunched up on the back there to cover where they glued the strings. This is like so... Okay, they're so big. I haven't put these ones on yet, but they have the same type of straps. And I got this one for a future photo shoot. I thought they might look really nice with my Fairy Katori cosplay that I have. And that is very much um, a spring type costume cosplay. So I will probably hold on to these and in the spring do a photo shoot for her with and without the wings and you know see what happens. Yeah they're very pretty they are held together with some glue and you can kind of see it but I think for photos and photo shoots you know from a certain distance and whatnot like I think they'll be perfectly fine for what I need them to. Alright now on to some clothing for costumes that I picked up. The first thing I have here is Harley Quinn's Suicide Squad shirt that says Daddy's Little Monster on it. And I would like to kind of rough this up a bit and kind of have like the little bit of tears and like wear and tear that she has. Another Harley Quinn item, I really love her style, is this red and black sort of leathery corset style top. It has some buckles here and along the sides has some Harley patterns so to speak there and on the back as well. And it zips up down the front to put on so it actually kind of like it's just like putting on a jacket and zipping it up which is super easy um it's padded too so you don't necessarily need to wear a bra or you can wear another bra <laughs> for extra oomph <laughs> i i like wearing it just the way it is two more corset style tops i got a white one I figured white would be very versatile for different cosplays and characters, but also I got it for Buet, again with the memes. I love memes. Memes really, really get me inspired to do stuff. <laughs> a whole heck of a lot of doodads to do it up, so I find this one rather stretchy, so I just like pull it up and uh, say heck no to all of those doodads because that's just too many. One of my bras have three and I'm like, really? Why? <laughs> um, yeah, and this also has padding, the straps are removable, and this corset lace up front here is super cute. I think it's a very sweet cut as well. The last corset, but second to last item, is this other corset. <laughs> I really love corsets, they're just very pretty. Whether some of them are actually corsets or not, like they just had a selection of little tops that were amazing. And this one, it has like blue velvet, like a deep blue, like it's probably hard to see that it's blue on either side. And there's a zipper on this side to get in and out of it. This one doesn't have like the padding at all like the other ones do, 
but it does have the like ribbed lining and it has lace up front that's just for decor because you get in with the zipper and uh, the straps aren't removable but they are part of this beautiful fabric pattern that is along the front and along the back as well and the top and bottom have this lace fabric and I used this corset um, for the top of my Chompette cause test that I did and thought it was super cute. I find this to be quite tight that like it keeps everything in place and with the ribbed boning I don't really notice much of a difference like how there's not padding because it's like thick enough so you're not like showing anything. <laughs> And the final item is actually a packaged costume, which is why I mentioned how this is part of the haul, but I'll get to it later. I got a cute little doll costume. I don't know what I did with the cardboard thing to show you the image. Uh, knowing me, I probably already like threw it out because I was like, oh, I just need the bag. I don't need the cardboard. Anyways, maybe I'll find a picture online of this um but yeah so cute little bow it just slides right into your wig or hair with this comb like doodad i don't know the name for things doodad is what it's gonna be called now so they're packaged costumes and when i say packaged costumes like they have like kind of all you need for the costume in a bag are kind of pricey for eh, quality <laughs> to be honest um and i know like this is like what i consider to be costumey material compared to like cosplay like a lot of my cosplay costumes are like really well made not to say that this is terrible it's just different material than what i'm used to so it did come with hair bow accessory and these dolly tights. Um, they're more of a creepy doll tight than a cutesy tight because I do have like white doll leg tights. But these are kind of like a muddy color. Uh, really stretchy. I haven't tried these on yet, but they're promising. They're super stretchy. They have an open foot area. I kind of wish they were like they had like the the foot part <laughs> cuz I I had a pair of shoes in mind, but I might have to go with boots so that like it covers this part. I don't think that will work anymore, but we'll see. And then the main bit of the costume is this doll dress. So if I hold it up, you could probably kind of tell, you know, it's thin, it's that costumey tight material. Looking at it, I can clearly see through it. I can see through, like, through it, like, all the, the layers. But it's got this cute stripe along the bottom that matches the sleeves, that matches the bow. And it has some ribbon here that you can tie up into a big bow in the back. Adorable heart and stitching patterns along the chest and sides there. And yeah, that is everything that I got during my two trips to Spirit Halloween. I can't say enough how much I wanted everything. There was just so many different little things that I was like trying to justify like oh I could use this for this or this you know for this project or like for a photo shoot and I did get quite a bit of things with that thought process and I'm very happy with the haul of items that my husband grabbed for me. Leave any questions or comments down below I'll get back to them as soon as I can. I'll leave links in the description box as always. They do have an online shop in case you don't have a store in your city. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye!